want to start, but something about this sun is not working right with me. But I'm going to turn the camera around in just a second anyway um, to show you, but I'm, I'm not... I'm not feeling the way the lighting keeps going in and out. So let me see if I can move to where you guys can see me. It's definitely a beautiful day out here. Um, the rain has finally stopped. I went out this morning and a lot of my, um, a lot of my plants have like fungus mildew on there from so much rain. So I'm going to take a few hours today after I get off and just kind of um, kind of try to clean up and see what's going on. We got a bad caterpillar problem that is about to drive me nuts, but we're going to take care of them. So don't y'all worry. Um, if you see me looking two ways, we're live on Instagram and we are live on YouTube. So. Um, if you did not catch the live yesterday after this one, y'all can go back and um, look at it. But um, what really wanted me, the one thing I wanted to do this live for is because I was looking at the news the other night, another recall, and I'm like, see, we, we got to we gotta start growing something. And it doesn't have to be food. It could be flowers. It could be herbs. It could be whatever you want to, but I just want to encourage you to grow, just grow, just grow something. And so I put a poll out and a lot of people, I asked a lot of people, why haven't you started? And a lot of people were saying, uh, I don't have time. A lot of people were saying, uh, it costs too much. And some people were saying, I can't grow nothing. Like, I think that's the one I hear the most is when people say, I can't. I can't grow. I don't have green thumb. And that's just not true. So what we're going to talk about today, yesterday it was time. And I'll just do a recap, but I encourage you to go back to the live and look at it. What I will tell you is I'll be straight up with you. I'm not finna lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, my kids always tell me. I do tell the truth. I just need to work on my delivery when I talk to people. And I am working on that. But, um... It does take a little bit of time. I'm not finna lie up front, but you get that time back on the end. So when I say you get that time back and welcome y'all, come on in. Thank you so much for joining. So when you get that time back, what I mean by that is instead of you having to put your clothes on, go to the store, go get, let's say some herbs for a recipe or go get um, some greens or go get some tomatoes. You don't have to do that. You can go right out to wherever you're growing and you can, you can do just that. So that's where you get the time, but go watch the full live and we go over some other stuff. So today I brought out some, some, I brought some stuff out because another reason I get is money. And I just want to tell y'all really, really quick, I can budget like no other. I get creative and I find a way to do what I want to do, but don't spend all that money because I'm not about to spend all that, that money. <laughs> not me. I can tell you, Carolyn, who's my mom, she taught me good about budgeting. I can still remember going to the store with her when we were little. Um, she didn't have a calculator, but she had a pen or a pencil and she had a piece of notebook paper. She had $25 at the top and she had a list and we would be the ones like adding up. Like she tell us, she, she give either me or my sister the paper. She tell us the price. We put it down. And that's, a, that's really how I learned how to add. And I pretty much learned how to add in my head because um, like now that's what I teach my kids. Like even if you go through a drive through when they give you the total and you give them the money, you need to automatically in your head know how much change you're supposed to be getting back. That's how I am on that. And so, Mom, if if we went under $25, then we would be able to get like a piece of candy or a chip or a soda or something like that. But if we were right at $25 and she already had the tax, you just lost out for that week. You wouldn't get in it. So um, I am good on budgeting. And I learned that not only from my mom, but my grandparents, we can budget some money. So that's why I want to tell you, everybody thinks it just costs so much money to garden. 
No. And I tell a lot of people, a lot of things that you see in my garden, I got it on clearance. I got it on clearance. And now is a good time because people are trying to get the rest. They've already put the Thanksgiving stuff out, but they're trying to get this Christmas stuff. They're trying to get the Christmas bikes. They're trying to get all of this stuff out. So a lot of stuff is on clearance. Uh, about a month ago, I got a lot of big pots on clearance uh, for $5, for $9. And I'm talking about like $40 pots. So I do a lot of off-season shopping. I get very creative, but I still grow. So it doesn't take a lot of money. If you didn't see our video where we created the $5 um, flower pot, that was about $5.00. And I was creative because they had beverage containers, which you put your ice in and put the sodas in. They had that on sale for $2. Make sure you put, put a hole in there. You got to put a drainage hole. Then um, we already reused the soil and we got some flowers that were on clearance. Now that's the first thing we're going to talk about, but I want to bring these flowers over because I'm a big flower clearance shopper, but I don't bring everything home. Some things need to be left on the rack. Some things need to be put in the trash. So not all clearance flowers are the same. Uh, I'll give you a couple pointers of what to look for because the ones that are leaning over, they're full of water. They look like they got root rot. Uh, they got white flies and fungus gnats leave them where they're at because you're going to bring some problems home. Don't don't get that. Do not get that. Take it from me. You're going to create more problem and more time. Um, I also like now uh, a lot of perennials are on sale. I picked up a lot of perennials. A lot of shrubs are on sale because uh, the big box stores, they have to move all of that stuff out because they need to bring those Christmas trees in. So I know it was some shrubs on sale, 50% off, 50% off. And so y'all know I didn't go too ham on them, but I did go a little bit uh, on them. But let me just show you uh, some clearance flowers that we got just to add some color throughout the fall, uh, going into the winter and then into the spring. Why is this bee on my phone like this? But we did, um, we did get some clearance things so if you're joining thanks for joining thank you so much for joining so uh i'm ayana of southern entertaining and i'm telling my story because i love everything home and garden but this year this year took a it took a shift in me it took a change um a lot of people y'all know with the pandemic a lot of people got frustrated they went out to try to grow a garden they frustrated themselves even more because things weren't growing and that frustration on that on top of that frustration you don't need that kind of stress in your life so we are trying to teach everybody not only to to start a garden but grow a garden grow something supplemental i know that everybody can't grow everything in their region but if you're new to gardening and you just want to try it don't tell yourself you don't have a green thumb just start with one start with one so that you don't frustrate yourself that would be me with the frustration. Do not get frustrated because I tell people I have killed so many plants and I'm still killing them. It's not on purpose, but you got some plants that come good from the hello, hello from zone 6A. So let me know the weather where y'all are at. It is, it was a little chilly this morning, but it is now about, I would say in the 70s, but y'all can see I'm used to the South because honey, I got my... I'm like, it's it's getting there, but it's still a little bit hot. I mean, still a little bit cool. But that's what I'm saying. Don't get frustrated because it's some plants that will look so beautiful at the store. Zone A in Chile. Yeah. I think next week I saw the low was going to be 41 degrees. So y'all know I'm going to be in the house. I will not be partaking outside. If I do, it'll be very short. I am, I think when it gets below 60, I've had it, <laughs> but um, I don't want you to get frustrated because you have some plants that you buy from the garden centers and then you get them home and they look good and they just don't like your environment. They ain't feeling it. They are not feeling it. So they die and it's not your fault. It's just, you know, 
I, I don't know. I, I still have plants I've put in the ground. They look good. They do good. And then you can have like a couple of them that just, they just die. So that's what I want to tell you. If you're new to gardening, if you thinking about starting a garden, don't get frustrated. You are going to kill a few plants, but that's what's going to make you better. You're going to get better. Uh, I'm still learning. I still learn every single day about plants. I do, and I love it. Um, so today, we and just to recap, for all of you who've joined, thank you so much from, for joining. We're streaming live from Instagram and YouTube. So like I said, if you see me looking around, then you will see that I'm going from back and forth. Hey, Farmer C, how are you? I hope you're having a good weekend, and hello, Grateful Praise. So if you see me looking back and forth, I'm streaming from two different devices, but we posed a question and said, if you haven't started gardening, what is the number one thing or what is stopping you? And a lot of 85 degrees in Connecticut. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Somebody said it was 85 degrees in uh, Connecticut. It keeps popping up like it pops up real quick and then it goes. Um, I was trying to catch your name, but 85 degrees in Connecticut. And hello, Grateful Praise. So uh, the three top excuses that I've got, and if y'all, um, and I say excuses because that's what my kids always give me, excuses. And I, I, I rebuttal right back with them. And so that's what I'm going to say uh, today. So we have uh, time, money, and you just keep telling yourself you don't have a green thumb, you can't grow. So you keep telling yourself that. And so we talked about time yesterday. Today, we're going to talk about money because like I was saying earlier, I am, you do have a green thumb. <laughs> I don't have a green thumb. You don't have to have a green thumb. You don't. You just have to have a little bit of time and a little bit of patience. And uh, you. I'm telling y'all, once you start growing and see this stuff and the way it looks and what you're producing and how it tastes, if you're growing herbs and vegetables, you are going to keep wanting to expand and expand and expand. I want to expand some more and I'm thinking about it. I'm just trying to get it right. But today we're talking about money because I hear a lot of people say that it, it costs a lot and um, they don't they don't have a lot of money. So I brought out some props to show y'all three, three ways that it does not, it's between maybe five, ten, maybe 15, depending on how big stuff is, but you do not have to have a lot of money. So I was over where my props were, but the sun is like beaming straight in my face. So I'm going to get up and I'll get prop number one. These are really not props, y'all. These are uh, plants, but I just got them the other day. So wait just a second because I can't take both devices with me. So that's why I got to go get them. And I'll get two at one time, maybe three. Okay. I should have just set them on the table, but I was getting late. So, okay. And I'm coming, y'all. I am coming. Okay, so let's start off. We were, we were first talking about clearance plants. Now, all clearance plants are not the same. If you're just joining, like I said, the stuff that is looking... Um, yellow if it's leaned over if they got white flies all over it and if they got fungus gnats all over it leave them where they are i've never tried i've never good at gardening had to hire someone we are going to get you to growing grateful praise we're going to get you to growing i'm telling you you will love it and you'll thank me for it later too but um some things that's on the clearance rack is not good but you can find some good perennials. And just depending on your zone now, they have shrubs 50% off. And um, so I just want to show you. Let's say you just want to grow something and we'll just say you want to stay up under $5. Just grow a flower, okay? So I want y'all to see this. Okay. This is a four pack right here. And I'm putting it on both. 67 cents. Now, a lot of people look at that and they walk by, but I don't. Let me show you what uh, the only thing this plant needs is you just need to deadhead it just a little bit. Like, it's nothing wrong with this. I still see blooms coming. They just need to be deadheaded a little bit. So I have my snippers here 
and I'll just take it and I'll just clip off all the ones that look like they're going, uh, if they look like they're going to see, I'll go in and you can sit right here on this table. This will take me less than five minutes to clip off all of these little spent blooms, okay? Because they're going to keep coming back. For us, Pansy, is a, uh, these are Johnny Jump Ups. Uh, it's a cool weather flower, and they love the uh, coolness. And I can have these probably to next spring, about March or April. I can start them off in uh, one pot. And see, stuff like this, y'all, I, I love giving out gifts. Like, this is four. So 67 divided by four. And then if you just have a pot, y'all can go to the dollar store. They got terracotta pots, terracotta pots at the dollar store. And you could do, take out one plant, get you some soil. Let me show y'all the soil real quick. I'm telling y'all, I had everything set up. It was just the camera is acting up and I may have to, I don't know why every time I get on uh, dead. Okay, that's a good question, Grateful Praise, and I'm glad you asked it. This is what deadheading means. When these flowers, okay, so when the plant, they make these beautiful uh, flowers. If you don't deadhead, it means take the, uh, take the spent blooms off, then they're gonna put so much energy in trying to produce seeds. And so you'll see that the um, flower, the creation of the flower rate is starting to decrease. So if, I don't know how good you could see it, but this one, I just saw it. This right here, this little one, is starting to make a flower, like a flower is coming. And then you could tell where the seed head is going. I tried to leave one on, but it'll be like a little ball. So the plant is gonna start putting so much energy and trying to make seed that it's gonna slow down on producing flowers. So you just go in, cut off the spent flowers, and I just go down like to the le next leaf node and just clip them off. Now, I had to get out of this instant gratification stuff too. Like I want things to be pretty right then, right there, right right then, right now, right there. In a few more weeks, this is gonna have so many pretty purple and white blooms on it. Um, so I just gotta get out of that. And that's why I pick up clearance flowers now because I know just give it a little bit of time, do it a little, do a little deadheading and it's gonna be good. So I'll go in and it may take me about five minutes to deadhead all this. I got some potting soil that I got on clearance and I'm actually gonna go back because I couldn't believe it and they had like a whole pallet full. But like I said, and y'all can pretty much figure out where I went to get this, they're trying to put these Christmas uh, bikes out. So they need all of this garden stuff. They need that stuff moved out the way. So I got some uh, potting soil. This was $2.75. Okay, so this is a dollar. And then this four pack was 67 cents. So if you want to, um, yes, been gardening for 20 years, army vet. Yes. Love it. That's what I'm saying. Like, and as a matter of fact, my husband's a retired military army. And I just want y'all to think about this, a private with two kids and a wife going to Germany for the first time. I thought for sure I was going to get a job when I first went over there. Little did I know I will have to compete with all the military spouses. So a lot of times I didn't work anywhere. So I got creative with a lot of things with little money. So that's why I say I know how to, y'all, I know how to budget. Let me tell you, I write some stuff down and that's it. And I'm not going over my price, but that's one way. If you want to do uh, just some flowers, if you want to have a pretty flower pot on the, yes, we stayed in Mannheim. That's one of my favorite places. Um, Germany, all of them were, <laughs> all of them were my favorite places. You just, the culture, you just learn so much. But that was, I mean, that's something, clearance, shopping off season, and then uh, getting those clearance flowers. Half of my garden here came from, like the flowers did, uh, it came from clearance. Now, just say, for instance, you want to grow, just say, an herb or some vegetables, okay? Let's still use this pot for a dollar. Now is a good time, y'all, to go online to some of these seed companies and look at their clearance. I bought a lot of clearance seeds for $1. Sometimes they have a, a dollar sale. Um, if they don't have what you want, what you're looking for, 
Um, and this was the same seed packet when y'all see me out with my mustard greens saying that my family is tired of eating mustard greens, but they're going to eat them as long as they produce. Sometimes I'll come, uh, go pick some off, freeze them, put them in a Ziploc bag. But $1, this is the same seeds that I planted for $1. And you get, it says, uh, 250 seeds for $1. Again, you got to have a little bit of patience, no instant gratification, because I know a lot of people go get the starts at the garden center, but I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, <laughs> I'll wait for it. Um, here's another one. If you do go to the store um, and you don't want to order online, this pack of seed right here is $2.50. Okay, you got your potting soil because you're still not going to use up all that potting soil. So you can just start them in something small. Um, I, again, I'll say Big City Gardener's name. I don't know if y'all follow his page, but you should because he showed a picture of somebody growing some greens in a cardboard box, you know, like the Amazon box, because your lettuces, herbs, leafy greens like that, they're not going to be, uh, they don't need a whole bunch of um, space for the roots, especially lettuce. It's, you don't have to have a whole bunch of space. Get you a good size brown box. And then just put your soil in there, sprinkle some seeds in there, and you can have that. Another thing, too, is you know those, um, they're not dish pans, but they sell them at the dollar store. Um, they're like the pans. Y'all, I hate to keep getting up and running, but I just want to show, I just be wanting to show everybody everything. Just hold on just a second, y'all. Okay, so this right here. These, I don't know what you call them. Dish pans, uh, a lot of people use them for a lot of things, but they got them at the dollar store. What I will say is you probably, you probably won't be able to use them, but like a season because once they get out there in that sun, um, they do crack. But just say you want to grow something real quick, you could go get that from the dollar store, sprinkle you some seeds in there, and you are good to go. So we're talking about ways to, yes, a cardboard box. I don't know if the water was seeping through, but I have had some people here. I guess if you don't move it, um, it may help. I've never tried that, but I thought it was amazing. The picture was beautiful, but I have heard people say they have grown like in those um, totes. That may be a better choice, like the, the totes or even like a, um, a small laundry basket. Like they've grown greens in there. So that's why I say you have to be like creative. You have to think outside the box. You got to be resourceful, but you can grow. Um, here's another little thing just I put on uh, our pergola here. And this cost me $2. And that's why I say think outside the box. Y'all don't, don't click off because I keep getting up because I'm still talking. <laughs> I know y'all like if she click off, if she get up one more time, I'm clicking off. Okay. So this right here, I don't know if you can see it. This was $2. It is what holds your knife, forks, and spoons. So like a cutlery thing. Clearance, once again, shopping off season. And you can just grow some herbs in there. We got sage in both of these, and we got some peppermint in here. All you need is a little bit of soil. And just think, if you can find some seeds for $1, $2, $3, you still are under $5. Now, when you get into the $5 and $15 range, um, it's probably going to be because of a bigger pot uh, and something that you're going to grow bigger because grow bags are also an option. We picked up some grow bags. Now, this is my first year trying these. I'm not so sure if I don't, I personally, I wish they would talk to me before they make these things. It, it's a drainage hole, but I don't know if the drainage hole would be enough. I, I'm not sure. But what I do have experience with, and I'm always exper experimenting. When you start gardening, you'll be uh, experimenting. I like that set too. Um, I said to myself, you got so many cutlery um, sets. Just use that as a pot. So I'm not sure about this, but I'm always testing y'all. I... I probably should have been like a scientist or something because I'm always testing stuff out, doing comparisons, but I'm going to test this out, but I'm not, I'm not loving this little small drainage hole. I may cut, um, 
I may cut a, a couple of more drainage holes because you want good drainage. You don't want um, you don't want your uh, plants to get root rot. But what I can tell you, I have experience in, and we grew see, uh, sweet, sweet potatoes this year. Are these grow bags? You can get like twelve of these on Amazon. It's no drainage hole, but the water seeps from the side, so you don't have a problem with drainage. I was really impressed growing sweet potatoes in here we put up a video sweet potato harvest um and i was impressed they were bigger bags but what i'm saying is you can get grow bags and you can grow in those as well so money just think outside the box just use your resources and even when we were in the military like say for instance um kiddie pools are definitely a good one too um, and you probably could find some of those on clearance. I've seen people grow in the kiddie pools. You could definitely do that. So thank you uh, for that suggestion. And don't forget to hit the like button, please. <laughs> Somebody said, don't forget the. <laughs> yeah, the sweet potato harvest. I was, I was so, 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 so impressed with that. And I want to, I want everybody to garden. And I'm the type of person that just say, for instance, um, like if I meet you and you say, oh, yeah, I've been trying to go to, I'll probably get you up a plant or a herb or something and say, here, put this on your uh, patio or put this, put this somewhere like that. Like that's these four sets right here. I actually got like a whole flat of them, but people are going to get these. These I am one of those types that I like making homemade gifts uh, for people because it's, it's the thought that you put into it. Like. I'd rather create something and give it to you because I took the time. I thought about you. I thought about what you liked. Like, that's me. Um, one thing that I was thinking about this year, especially with everything growing uh, going on, that's why I bought these grow bags, but I want to test it. Like, we have so many kale plants um, and collard green plants that some of the people that I know I was just gonna put some in there. I mean, you can harvest off of them, at least one, just to see how it tastes. It tastes good, it tastes fresh, and something about the taste to me. So we went over that, we went over the grow bags, we went over, you know, just finding clearance items. This is the one I really love to do, and it's propagate, and uh, you do propagate and you divide like my daylilies, I'm going to divide those. Fall is the best time to divide like your perennials. Uh, I can remember to this day, my grandmother had like the grass lined up the walkway and people would come in and they say, oh, Flossie, that you got it so pretty. And I, I remember her saying, well, when it's time, I'll give you some. I didn't realize what she meant, but she went when it's time to divide them like the fall time. She would uh, divide them and she give, like my mom still has those same things in the yard because she was dividing them and giving them away. You don't have to buy all that. Uh, so I definitely like dividing. Daylilies are good to divide. Um, it's another plant. I just looked around and I say it's about time to divide that. But I like to propagate as well. Let me show y'all what I'm doing really quick. And I hope I don't break my terracotta pot but this is a good gift that i would love to give people to propagating rosemary okay cut you off a little bit my i gotta clean my shears they're not clean uh, i like to just wipe them down with alcohol but all i did and all of them didn't propagate and that's okay because all of these are free so all i did was went in and just kind of uh exposed the woody area with my shears okay and then I just put them in water. And this is about four weeks old. And so now they're ready. Get you a pot. And if you don't have a pot right now, go to the big box stores. You know how they have that pot collection in the back? Well, here they have the pot collection in the back. And say, can I go get a pot or two? It's the plastic, the black plastic pots. And sometimes they have other pots. They'll let you do it. Um, because I've done it before. I'll be like, are you going to use those? And they'll do it. Yes, the roots look good. This is about four weeks that I just put them in. Yes, plant gifts. I'm telling you, I just love, like, these are going to be gifts for somebody. I'm telling you. Cause, and I'm going to propagate some more. But you just put them in the water. Now, you're going to have to change the water out 
uh, every so many days. But if you could see, I don't know how good y'all could see, uh, the new growth is coming on here. So, I mean, look at the roots on here. All I got to do is put some soil in there and put that in water. And these are going to be some gifts for next spring. I am very bad about procrastinating, but I'm getting on top of it this year. I said, I'm going to stop all of this. Um, let me tell you another plant that I'm going to propagate. I'll actually go cut it off. Uh, if y'all have been looking at the videos, the coleus, uh, the temperatures are going to get down to about 41. And I know for a fact, the coleus doesn't do good in cold, but this was normally coleuses are, um, Yes, plant gifts, I'm telling you, I love just giving them away because not everybody, but a few people, I have sparked a garden interest just by giving them uh, like a, a herb or something like that or something to start in. I have, I've sparked them a little bit. They, a couple of people, they, they loved it, but then I don't know. But they, uh, a few people have started growing little things on the patio. That's all it takes. I'm I know it takes time and you have to tell yourself how much time do I have to devote to gardening because you don't want to get frustrated. I think I might have told y'all this uh, story before. I bit off more than what I could chew one time and I was just getting frustrated and to me gardening is therapy and it just wasn't seeming like therapy anymore. And so for like a couple of years, I didn't do it. But then I started missing it and I say, okay, you got to get yourself together. Stop biting off more you can chew with you working like this and do what you can handle. So if you can handle a couple of herbs on your patio or something like that, then that's good. Just grow something, a flower. That's good. Grow something. But I want to show y'all this coleus. Um, let me go get my other scissors because this is another one to propagate for next, next spring. I'm running y'all. Okay, I have to be careful because the bees, the bees love this. But this coleus right here, now it doesn't do good when it gets cold. But the, the bees love this. Now, let me just give you an example of what I'm going to do. When you propagate it in water, you don't need all of these leaves. You're going to take all this stuff off because you want this plant to put the energy in producing roots not to keep making all of these flowers so i'm going to take probably most of these off geraniums geraniums are also a good one to propagate as well but i'm going to take this is where it's trying to go to seed some of the i need to look at that and see some coleuses they make sterile which means they make them where they don't produce seed i don't know about this one i got it at the garden center but i'm going to take most of this off and we're just going to stick this down in some water. And just like the rosemary, change the water. Um, just change the water every few days. And you are going to see some roots. I love that. I love coleus. But this was the first one where this was made for the sun. So this is called like a sun coleus. And I got it at the local garden center. Now, you do have to be careful um, if it's patented i don't uh i don't do the cuttings this is not a patented one because some of the companies uh some of the bigger companies will say you can't do that but this is not so i don't um i don't do that but this one makes the sun and when i tell you the bees love this i planted these i could tell a difference in my cucumbers because i had this plant right by uh, my cucumber plant. It was so many bees. We were getting so many cucumbers, but propagating and dividing is another way. I don't know why my phone keeps going off. So if y'all see me keep doing that, it's because it keeps going um, black, but propagating and dividing. Let me tell y'all about my calla lily that I bought years and years ago. I bought it as a uh, like bare root. And a lot of times if you want to save money, because if you're just joining us, what we're talking about is why are you not gardening? My three top reasons that I have received are time, money, and you keep telling yourself you can't do it. And so today we're talking about money. Tomorrow, same time, 12 noon, we're going to talk about uh, why you keep telling yourself that you can't do it. Um, but the thing is, is um, 
Y'all, sometimes I, I lose my train of thought. The coleus. I bought it years ago as a bare root. The calla lilies. That's what it is. Thank you, Melissa, 7605. <laughs> Thank you for getting my thought process right. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm like, what was I talking about? Yes, the calla lilies. Bought it bare root years and years and years ago. I noticed it was making seeds. And I'm just like, um, okay. So the seeds start dropping. And for the longest, I thought that they were weeds. I'm like, I'm so tired of these weeds popping up. But I have. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. I promise y'all I had all these props, but when I put everything with this phone, when I put everything, the sun was just blasting. So that's why I got to keep getting up. If y'all, if y'all are like, if she get up one more time, but I had everything right there laid out to show y'all, but my calla lilies, let's go back to that. They start dropping seeds. So I love plants that self seed as well. Your marigolds, they self seed every year. So what I do is I wait till they get big enough, wait till they get big enough and then take you like a little trowel or depending on how fragile they are, take you like a fork, a plastic fork, dig that stuff up. Look, I got 12 of these calla lilies from self seeding over there. Yeah, they'll, they'll die out. I planted them in, I want to say July or August to try to help those roots get good hello best yet journey how are you but i i planted them to get the root establishment they're probably going to die out the winter but my calla lily comes back every single spring it gives me beautiful um beautiful beautiful uh blooms so y'all know already know these are going to be some gifts i got 12 of them so if somebody uh, comes by and they're like oh that's so pretty well guess what you know what i got an extra one and you could put this on your patio. You could put this on a patio table. So self-seeding is good. The same thing with marigold. The only reason why I buy um, marigold seeds is because I, I'm always going through the catalogs. And like this big duck that we had, that is my favorite. And I will be growing that again. Like they have different varieties, different colors that I want to try. But every year I take the spent blooms off the marigold we did a youtube video on that as well inside are at least 20 to 25 seeds sprinkle them just in some soil let them go ahead and pop up and when they get big enough take them out individually and put them wherever you want to that's what i did every year we get marigold to pop up wherever i had them in the garden if i don't want them there that year i'll take my trowel a knife or something like that i'll pull it pop them up and i'll put it in a container or put it where I want it to be. I love plants that self seed. That is like one of my favorite because I'm about to look through here when I get off and see if these are, I don't think they're seeds though, but uh, we are gonna propagate some coleus. We're definitely gonna do that. So those are ways, reasonable ways that you could still garden without having to spend a lot of money. and. Like I said, as you continue to grow, then you can, you can continue to expand. So let's just go back over real quick, and then we are going to do some planting today. I'm sorry, y'all. I had a call coming in. But um, so we're going to be here same time, same place tomorrow. I don't think it's going to rain, maybe a little bit cooler, but the question, the reason why I wanted to do this series is because once again, I saw a thing that said another recall. It was another recall on the lettuce, and I think it had sent like 28 people to the hospital, and so I'm like, we have got to start growing our own stuff. Yes, cut that coleus and propagate it. Wait a few weeks once it has those roots. Now, the coleus, you could let stay in the house all winter long because they, they are frost sensitive. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to get me plenty of mason jars of um, the coleus. This is some rosemary. I'm going to cut some more rosemary as well. But we are going to propagate this, and then when it gets hot enough next year, 
we are going to pot them up and have some beauty and some color. I just love that color. They also got one that is like a um, chocolate grateful play, uh, grateful praise said romaine lettuce with two different companies. So that's why I wanted to start this series. Like, why have y'all not started? If if you haven't, why have you not? And that's why I said this year, it just really hit different for me because I always get on here and show pictures of home and garden because that's what I love. But um, I'm like, the people who had my number and were close to me, they would, um, I have those plants, had no clue what they are. Yes, 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 they are beautiful. They would send me pictures of like what's going on with my plant and, and things like that. And but the people who didn't, like, they were frustrated. Stuff was dying. We already got this going on. Stuff keeps dying. And so just frustration with what's going on, frustration on what's about to grow because a, a while with some things, they were putting, um, yeah, we got to get back to basics. They were putting, y'all know, you went in there, you had a cap on what you could get, and uh, people just start panicking and they they were trying to grow but it was just too much going on and i'm trying to reach here because that's why i wanted to do this series i saw i said here we go another recall you know and lettuce i will tell you if you're new lettuce is one of one of the easiest plants you can grow now not everything is easy some things need a little coddling some things you got to talk to them um but lettuce i could pretty much leave them alone but this is our lettuce bowl right here that we are growing right on our patio table. And I just come out when I want a salad and I just clip, clip off the sides and we go in, we wash it and we um, have a salad. And you know where it came from. We're growing a few different varieties. So a lot of times I'll mix it. I'm looking at my arugula right there. I'll mix it and you know that is my new thing you know when you grow you know what you put on there you know how it was grown because y'all got to go back and watch my live um yesterday when i was talking about time a lot of these plants or a lot of these vegetables there um can let us succeed if you have enough light you can grow lettuce indoors you, you got to have some pretty good light uh, because they want about six hours of light. Um, but I have had people who has um, like a kitchen window, a lot of sun comes in there during the day and they do um, they do grow. How do you keep the animals away from your veggie? Okay, let me tell you grateful praise. I'm so glad you asked that because I want to tell y'all right now what happened to me last night. I don't have a cat, but it's this cat that just walks up and down every day. Um, and so last night, when you um, buy our storage room, I saw the light come on. And I was like, there's some type of animal out there now. Let me tell y'all about this cat real quick. When I tell you, he, um, he was standing there like a statue, like, I hope she does not see me. I, Cause I had my flashlight and I'm looking all over the place. Like, what is it? Because sometimes, although we have a fence, uh, we have animals that dig under the fence. We've had like a, ra a raccoon, a possum. I think the possum looked at me like, you don't want none. Don't come over here. But the cat just stood there like a statue, like, oh, I hope she don't see me. I hope she don't see me. She sees me. And I'm like, get out of my garden. Get out right now. Now, the cats, I don't bother them until they start like bothering my, um, going into like my bed because my strawberry bed, I think last year that same cat was over there just having a good, like I would come in the morning because I always like to harvest in the morning. Y'all, when I tell you bites, like human bites were taken out of my strawberries and I could not, I'm like, what is doing this? Because the snails would make like holes in there. I knew if a snail had been eaten, but I'm talking about like you take a strawberry and you bite out of it and you just leave it on the plant. And I figured out it was him just over there getting some good, good vitamin C and some good fruit. I mean, just good juicy fruit. <laughs> Your cat loves strawberry too. I could not, I'm like, what is this over here taking bites out of my stuff like this? And I figured out, I said, oh, okay, you over here eating good because he dug a hole right by the strawberry patch. 
dug one and so i guess every night he come in and you know get him a little get get him his daily fruit value and in the morning i'm like uh-uh i'm gonna figure out what it is so with animals um we have a fence i just i don't know i just keep an eye on it uh raccoons used to take my yes the raccoons the possums things like that um i don't i don't i don't really know one lady i asked her did she have kind of like a not a tall fence but you know how you do like one of those fence fencing arounds i was asking her uh would she consider doing that um as far as keeping the animals out so I don't know. That is the only reason why uh, we have some people that have land. And I know the lady was telling me that the coyotes come and just all kind of stuff. And I do. I want a market garden. I really want one uh, to be able to share with everybody. But I, I don't know about uh, all these coyotes and stuff like that. I don't know what I do. I, I, I don't know. I don't even want to talk about that, y'all, because I'm getting up. To I don't know what I'll do because when she said coyotes, I was like, the coyotes, I don't know. I'm not sure. But um, so we are just talking. So that's really why I wanted to do this series, y'all, because we had another recall and I'm like, we just have to start growing one thing. Let's just start off with one. No, she didn't. Um, but we have to just start off growing one thing and so the th the top three reasons i've got was time money and you just keep telling yourself you don't if you have another reason put it in the comment or dm me let me know what's your reason because i want to i really want to talk about it so yesterday i was telling you about the time it does take time for setup uh but you get it back and that's who i'm talking about shirley when y'all <laughs> When y'all was telling me about the coyotes, that I, you know I'm thinking about you because I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I just don't know. Um, even um, bears, I, I just, you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to get like, whoo, I'll have to get a tall, somebody will have to build me a real tall fence. I'm talking about a real tall fence. Um easy indoor vegetable to start growing i always say start off with um with herbs herbs are great um and can be grown inside and like i say if you got like a window that you can uh put them if you have a window that gets a lot of light that would be perfect um because herbs are also another easy um very easy to grow and it adds a lot of flavor to your food. We actually use some herbs and, and teas, like the oregano out here is taken over. And that's one plant I really have not done anything to it like I supposed to. It is what's called like a, not necessarily a runner, but it's more, it looks more like a ground cover because once they start, they get started. How about a greenhouse to protect? Yes, I, I, I have been, I just told somebody the other day, I have got to figure out how to tell my husband we need a greenhouse because it's going to be beneficial for everybody. I did that with the storage and we got the storage, but I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to get Chris on the live before and let y'all, y'all tell him I need a greenhouse. Maybe he'll listen. Um, and the reason why I was able to, yes, oregano oil is good for you. And putting oregano in tea is good. And then I dry some. I do some fresh. Oregano is very easy to grow if you want to start off growing herbs. And it smells good. Oregano, thyme, it smells so good. And, yeah, the oil is definitely, definitely good for you. So I would say start off with that. But just start off with something because I have a feeling that it's going to be more recalls down the line. I do have a feeling about that. So, um just kind of try to get started so at least you can get that practice in and get going with growing because uh growing lettuce in my garage in a small greenhouse with growing like absolutely absolutely that's what i'm talking about um that's why i said we got to get creative we got to do something because 
y'all know um and if you're and if you're new and if you're just joining us and if you want to grow don't know where to start go to the link in my bio on instagram we got a free five tips to a flourishing garden that's going to get you started with everything you need to think about to get started like your location uh how much sun you get uh, the, the different tips that you'll need to set yourself up for success because a lot of people grow one or two plants and like one of them may die. But if y'all are just joining me, like I said, some plants are going to die. They don't like your environment. They, they, they're going to die. So you have to be okay with that and just say, okay, I'm going to try again, but don't give up because you start learning and then you can start documenting and journalizing all of that. And you can start giving advice to other people about what to do. Uh, the reason why I even started social media is because I, I really know why. I'm going to tell you the reason why. Like I wasn't, uh, I was sending pictures to a group chat to my family. Like, look, I just harvested my greens today. Like, look, I just started doing this. And so my kids was like, mom, you should start an Instagram and a YouTube and show people that's low key because they got tired of me sending these pictures in the group chat. Like, look, look what we have today. That's really why. So, but then when the garden community is such a great and supportive community and we're just all here to answer questions. So uh, a lot of people were asking questions. I say, you know what, let me put together this quick ebook because these are things that I have went by over the last 20 years of gardening i've used these as like my foundation tips like back to the basics and a lot of people have found that ebook helpful so go to my instagram bio and download that it's a short read i want to say maybe like 19 pages or something like that and get get those basics so that you can set yourself up to knowing okay i'm ready to grow and just start growing something you know like i said earlier if you're just joining Go to some of those websites that are having seed sales, $1, $1 to, and this is 250 seeds. And even if you don't want to like individual, like I do individual soil blocks or individual cell trays, even if you don't want, if you just want to sprinkle them, just sprinkle them in the thing, you could do that, a dollar for 250 seeds. And then, like I said, when they start growing, Thank you so much, Grateful Praise. You are so sweet. And I am telling you, we're going to have everybody growing. We're going to have them growing. We're going to give away some garden gifts. And it's just going to be wonderful. Because if you just don't want to do individual blocks, sprinkle it in there when they start coming up and getting crowded. Get you, like I said, a fork. Get you a trowel. Dig them out carefully and pot them up. Um, the Dollar Tree has those little pots. 10 for a dollar pot them up in there wait till they get big give them away to people you know um a lot of times when we have extra food here i take extras to the manor house because somebody is hungry somebody don't know where the food is coming from you know and i just like to share i mean everybody that come here um one of my husband's friend last week i was getting ready to pull the peppers i was like hey you like jalapeno peppers you want i can get you a bag and uh i can give you some peppers um, I don't know. I just love doing that, you know, because everybody I talk to, food just doesn't taste like food anymore. But everybody I talk to and I give them stuff, they say, wow, I haven't had a tomato that tastes like that since, you know, I was a child or something like that. And that's why I say when you know, you grow. When you grow, you know. You When you grow, you know what you put on there, what was done to it how it was done because that's what i said yesterday on my live when food is picked it's picked under ripe and then it loses some of its nu nutrients during the transporting process and some of our biggest importers of food are like china honduras guatemala so you just imagine once it gets just say if it flies over here it gets to the airport or something it has to be inspected because they don't want uh whatever their pests are uh, coming over here to you know like wipe out stuff so they have to be careful about that so they have to inspect then you got to have a truck that's going to load this stuff up then they have to drive it hundreds and thousands of miles by the time it gets to the grocery store it has lost some of its nutrients right now or well, i like to harvest in the morning harvest first thing in the morning with my lettuce by lunch have a salad 
because they said a certain types of spinach lose 90% of its nutrients within 24 hours. So when you growing, when you're growing your own, you, those nutrients are still in there. And that's what I was telling people. I would love to start a victory garden. As a matter of fact, do we still have farmers? Yeah, we still have, we still have farmers, but as a matter of fact, um, and I'll, I'll keep y'all posted. I got some plans coming down the line that uh, I think I'm going to make happen. But I was considering going like to our local city and having, you know how some cities have like the different plots, uh, kind of like kind of like Victory Garden or like a city plot where people can just come in and harvest. You know, um, I really wish they would have something like this. And just seeing where everything is going, I may just contact like the local city officials and see is there an area here that we could have to do that or if people don't have a yard and they want to garden just have little plots where people can come in and do that um i would really love to do something like that and head it on but i would just have to say it has to be like organic <laughs> that's that's like my only thing it needs to be um organic because you have to you know, think about all of those chemicals and things like that that are going. But yeah, I would love to do like a city, a city garden. I would love to do that. So, um, but yeah, that is, so y'all let me know what you think, but have, I hope that I've showed you ways that you could still grow something cheap. And most of these ways really were under between five and $10. So I hope that this has helped you tomorrow, same time, same place. We are going to talk about why you keep telling yourself you can't do it. Why you keep telling yourself. Gardening definitely brings people together. It's like good food. I love taking stuff from my garden and like preparing a meal together. Um, just to, to, I don't know. It's just something about the freshness, the taste, the smell when you harvest it. Um, started a school garden you know the school here uh smart home cannon the school here they used they had to have a program like this because the elementary school had a greenhouse it's some greenhouses in the back and so you know what i might just call and see what's going on with that uh there you could tell they haven't been used in some years but it was a greenhouse back there so at one point of time i think they had kind of like the school guard i would love to do something like that and those kids can take that school garden and use in their lunches you know i would love to do y'all y'all about to get me to calling some people monday like we need this we need this because people were in a panic earlier this year especially you go in there and you know nothing's in there and that but i look at the silver lining of stuff it brought a lot of people together like you know how people just do their own thing? Like it, it, it brought a lot of people together. It made us start thinking. It made us start being creative. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Learn the gardening tip. Yes. So make sure you come back same time uh, tomorrow. But you always have to have find the positive and stuff. This brought a lot of people together because that's what I was telling my family. Well, we're going to have to step it up with the garden and help people out. You know, if I had, I really considered putting like a, a table out at the end of my driveway and just say, take, take what you, take what you want, take what you need. You know, um, I like to do stuff like that. It just, I don't know. Y'all don't get me started. I just, I don't know. I just like to give. I like to give because I saw, I learned that from my grandmother. It was nothing that she wouldn't do. She would give you your last. And back then they were on a budget, but nobody left hungry. Nobody left hungry. And like people would just come in, in and out. Hey, Miss Flossie, she would, it was one guy. And then I'm going to go y'all. Cause y'all know how it is when I get started. I don't know how long YouTube or, uh, <laughs> or Instagram will let me stay, but it was one guy he was handicapped and he couldn't move every sunday we would have to walk over and um give him his dinner like every sunday no matter what she would make him his dinner and give him like a couple of plates for the rest of the week um 
to eat off of. And so Sunday we would go pick up the plates and then we would bring the new ones back. But everybody that came in, and I never did see how she do it, but when you do good, it just like multiply. Because I was, we went to the store with her every Saturday. So she wasn't getting a lot. You know, she get your typical bag of beans. Um, she get like a family pack of meat. Uh, she made, you know, always had flour meal for cornbread. But it's just when you do good, it just mo it's just it multiplies, just like in the Bible. It just multiplied. Nobody was hungry, and that's what I that is what I'm trying to do. So uh, yes, gardeners are really the most generous people. I'm I'm serious. If y'all come here right now, y'all gonna leave with a bag. You're gonna leave with a bag of something because I'm gonna be like, you want some of this? And let me give you a tour. Let me show you. You're gonna leave with something because uh, I just want you to experience the taste, the taste of food, and um, just bring back some memories. So y'all meet me tomorrow here at 12 o'clock, same same time. I hope same place. I hope it's a nice day to, tomorrow. Gardening is love and peace. I'm telling you, it, it really is. And it is my goal, seriously, to like have a market garden. I really do. Um, and I just want people to come and walk around and just, just feel peace and just be then. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. We're going to talk about why you keep telling yourself that you cannot grow because we're going to fix that. We are going to fix that. So y'all enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I'm going to get a couple of gardening things done and then um, I'll go in the house. But you guys, you have, <laughs> you taste, have a taste for a salad. I'm telling you, you better grow that lettuce, grow that lettuce. And so you can come out here and just clip it. So y'all have a good afternoon. And then we're going to talk again tomorrow. You guys take care and be safe. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.